Today, we travel back before humans existed, before dinosaurs existed, before much of anything existed, to see how life had a sudden eruption changing our planet forever. Hello, and welcome to the show about fun facts and a little bit of science. Today, we are talking about one of the most important explosions in history, the Cambrian Explosion. For this, we have to travel back 540 million years to the Ediacaran period. Life on the planet consisted mostly of single-celled organisms, with more complex, multicellular organisms becoming more common just prior to the start of the Cambrian period. As the Cambrian period began, organisms quickly became more unique at an incredible rate, thus giving us the Cambrian explosion. Weird how that worked. Before we go too far, do me a favor, like and subscribe and click that bell. But prior to this explosion of life, almost everything alive on the planet was contained to the oceans. Ah, the oceans. The surface was primarily dry and rocky with no vegetation and without the polar ice caps for much of this period. The oceans were much warmer and oxygen levels were so low that modern fish wouldn't be able to survive. The ocean floor was covered in microbes like a thin blanket with only a few simple organisms able to move around snacking on those microbes. At this time, the oceans were calm and simple, but the planet was starting to cook up a new batch of life forms. When we talk about our planet, we have to remember that all of these changes took millions and millions of years. I think that is probably the hardest thing for us to grasp. Humans have only been around for six billion years or so, with the modern form of humans evolving just around 200,000 years ago. And everything we are talking about today is clearly way before us. So it takes millions of years for this explosion to happen. The planet goes from simple life forms to more complex animals. Though we have several debates on what caused this shift across the planet, we are constantly making new discoveries to help us understand just a little bit more. More recently, scientists have theorized that this global explosion was caused by a complex system of small changes to the environment that resulted in a larger scale evolution of life. By simply increasing the oxygen levels, the planet created a larger group of carnivorous animals. To survive, the rest of the animals had to adapt by changing their body shapes and behaviors. Unlike the single-celled organisms that ruled for most of the planet's existence, animals need high levels of oxygen to survive. Their whole system is built on it. By studying ancient sediments in the ocean, scientists were able to see different levels of metals in the rocks, which helped us understand the different oxygen levels over time. As the oxygen levels jumped closer to the levels we see today in our oceans, we can quickly watch life adapt in relation to the Cambrian period. To get a better understanding of those times, we can actually use today's oceans as a testing ground. In areas where oxygen levels are 0.5% lower, the food chain is simple. Worms and microbes. 0.5% to 3% oxygen and life becomes a bit more plentiful, but still limited to feeding on microbes. The cat just jumped up and shook everything. 3% to 10% oxygen, and now we see a wider range of life, including predatory animals. So if you think about our planet prior to the Cambrian explosion and how low the oxygen levels were, then it makes sense. Add oxygen and watch as life uh, 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 finds a way. <laughs> but with the surge in predators, this meant that the soft-bodied animals that previously ruled the planet must adapt or die. This is where we see many life forms ending as the Ediacaran period comes to a close. Some animals like the Clodina were able to change their lifestyles in order to survive by hiding in the reef where they previously just laid out on the ocean floors. Over time, they would grow hard exoskeletons as new predators come along, or came along. This is in the past, past tense words. This would take millions of years, but it shows how evolution works, and, and that's a pretty amazing thing for us to be able to discover. That's a pretty, I mean, Prior to the Cambrian period, the animals that crawled along the ocean floor left behind something called trace fossils. A trace fossil is a record of biological activity without the remains of the animal or plant. Meaning, this could be something like a, a footprint or other impression in the environment. The ocean floors were pretty firm at this time as the animals didn't really go below the surface. 
And as oxygen levels rose and life became much more complicated, these animals began to shift deeper below the surface. These trace fossils even show the change in their behavior over many years, going from basic movement to more evasive actions, telling us they began to evolve to avoid predators. This also meant that the ocean floors became softer as more creatures were digging into it. As the floor became softer, more oxygen was able to enter new areas, which altered the life below the surface. Some species would die out while others would learn to adapt. Typically, if an animal is soft-bodied, as in no shell or skeletal features, then they are less likely to be fossilized. And since the Cambrian period saw the expansion of new life and evolved animals with exoskeletons, we can find many of their fossils. This is essentially how we are seeing this explosion. By dating fossils and rocks, we get a good estimate of how old they are. If you were to look at a cutout of our planet, you would see layers and layers of history. This is why you'll often see images like this. That's fun. I hope you enjoyed this brief look back at the Cambrian explosion and learned something new. This episode was actually suggested by a viewer, so let me know what you would like to see down in the comments, and maybe it will be a future episode. As always, thanks for watching, and what did you learn today?